Hey guys, Pablo with PND and Title Parents, those people are everywhere, even on my city. So today in Title Parents, we're gonna be taking a look on in Title Parents losing New York City. And before we start this video, don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell sign for content coming up every day. Now with the video. Entitled mom tries to steal my brand new phone. Context, I have the new Galaxy S10. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to a restaurant in Brooklyn, New York City called Bear Burger with some friends. I've been there before and I know one of the waiters. If you know New York City restaurants, you know how tightly packed they can be. And this was one of those restaurants. I'm waiting for my burger, playing on my phone, and talk to my friends. This family, mother and young son next to us, is being quite annoying already, with the mother talking loudly and her son throwing Cheerios at us. But I'll save the pain for the main event. At this point, our burgers come and we begin eating. I make the mistake of setting my phone down on the table, locked, however, it's here that begin our journey. E.K. Steven Spielberg E.M. Excited Monkey F1 Friend F2 Friend W. Waiter Friend P.O. Police Officer Me. Rocket Sausage Entitled Mom grabs my phone. My friend who I'm talking to sees and shouts Hey lady, E.M. is frantically trying to unlock my phone. I turn and see what she's doing. Excuse me miss, but that's my phone. No it isn't, Jedi Business. Go back to your burgers. Yes, it is. Nope. Do you want me to call the police? Just give me the phone and we'll act like nothing happened. This is my phone. No, it isn't. At this point, we're shouting and have the attention of a lot of the restaurant. Just give him his damn phone back. Why should I give this freaking something that is mine? He tried to grab it from my kid. The waiter wanders over. What's going on? This girl tried to steal my phone. Can I see it? No, you're probably trying to help him steal it. One more shot or I'll have to get the police involved. And he reached for the phone. Entitled Mom begins playing a game of keep away with the phone. My second friend walks outside to flag down a police officer. Keep in mind I have a pretty unique case as it's custom made, so we all know it's my phone. The waiter got it for me for my birthday. Several minutes of argue and shoe, Entitled Mom begins making a mess, throwing down plates and even spits on our burgers. My second friend comes with the police officer. What's going on here? This freaking bag tried to steal my son's phone right out of his hands and grope him. I'm just appalled how she thinks she could get away with any of those accusations with a restaurant full of witnesses. Is this true? Nope. In fact, the opposite is true. Minus the groping. Is there cameras here? Yes, let me just call my manager quickly for permission and the password. Entitled mom goes pale and decides in her pea brain that throwing a fit and attacking us is the best course of action. But it's not fair. Smash plates and unleash a firestorm of swears. This man should be arrested for rape and false accusations. And she flips the freaking table. Well, even if this young man did all those things, it still doesn't excuse the table you just flipped, or the plates you smashed, or the noise you're making, ma'am. What the hell is wrong with the police in this country? And she starts attempting to throw kicks and punches at all of us. Though, very few actually connect. After this fails, she grabs a knife off the table and we all take a step back from the alley and try to subdue her. The waiter comes back out, sees this and goes behind her, smacking the knife out of her hand and throws her on the ground. Freak off! The police officer cuffs her and calls for transport. He's a bike officer. I call my parents on my friend's phone, mine is busted up from the incident, and tell them what happened. The police officer asks if one of them can come up and pick me up and if they want to press charges. They say okay and agree to press charges for larceny, destruction of property, assault with a deadly weapon, the knife, even though she didn't take any swings, and it's not attempted murder for that reason. The court hearing is in two days, Monday, and now update afterwards. TLDR, Yem tries to steal my phone and tries to assault us, while also trash the restaurant while she's at it. Sorry if this is pretty generic, but I wanted to post it anyway for your entertainment. Definitely not just for internet points. Nope, no sir, not for internet points at all. Hope you enjoyed. Guys, I'll tell you this, uh, I'm from New York, I love New York, but there are crazy people everywhere you go. Uh, I can't actually excuse New York for that. And yeah, sometimes people in there, they're a little bit off, but it's still the best city in the world.
I am going to use your bus ticket for my son. This is my first post in this sub. But I have read many stories and one I can share to you guys finally happened. I am typing this on mobile, so please excuse any spelling mistakes. Just to start off with some context. I am a high school student living in New York City. I always use the public bus to get to school. In New York City, the way to pay for the bus is use something called a metro card. My school, like many others in New York City, give us special metro cards so we don't have to pay for our school commute. The way these special cards work is that you get three rides a day. Each ride gives you a transfer so you can take two buses to get home if you have to. I, most of the time, use two of these rides. Sometimes, mostly on Tuesdays, have to use the extra ride to go to meet with my piano teacher. This is relevant later. Now to the entitlement part. Today is a Tuesday and I'm on my way home. I am waiting at the bus stop for my bus. For this bus, you have to pay before you get in it. Anyways, here comes Entitled Mom, E.M. and her son, S. Since the bus stop is quite small, I hear E.M. talking to S. about how she can only pay for one rider. Sometimes, if the child's young enough, the bus driver will be okay, but this kid was like 8. I am paying for my new ticket when she noticed my bright green metro card, the ones the school gives out. She taps me on the shoulder. My son needs to use your metro card. I'm a little confused, even though I knew her metro card was empty, I didn't know what to say, so I just stood there for a few seconds. I'm sorry, but I can't let you use it. I need it for myself to get home. The kid starts to get embarrassed. I saw your metro card. You get the free one. My son and I need to be in this bus. Just give me your metro card. Keep in mind that today I need the extra ride for my piano. I'm sorry, but I can't let you use it. Plus, this is for students only. I start to put away my metro card in my wallet. Then she grabs it out of my hands and pushes me aside to get to the bus ticket device. She did insert it into the device and the notice pops up and says, You have zero rides remaining. I start to say, I needed that ride, at least give me my card back. She just brushed past me and ignored me. Her son turns beet red with embarrassment. He almost cries. I feel really bad for him. Then the bus turns around the corner and starts to pull up to the stop. Luckily, I have already gotten my ticket. I decided to get in front of the bus so I can let the driver know about the situation. He says that he's really sorry. He gets out of his little driver area and goes up to confront the woman. I follow closely behind him so I can point out the culprit. The driver says, Ma'am, what you did to this boy is not okay. I need you to get off my bus. She tries to argue with him, but he stands strong until she and her son start to walk out. As she's exiting the bus, the driver says, And his metro card? She glares at me and then reaches into her pockets to produce my student metro card. I try to hold in a wide grin. I fell. The driver turns around and smiles at me, then gets back into his little driver boot. On my way out, he gives me a free transfer card to make up for the ride that the lady used. I get home and leave for my piano on time with a funny story. Update. Thank you all so much for the love and support. I did not expect this weird story to blow up like this. Just an update, I always take the same bus, the M86 SBS for those who are wondering. And apparently the driver has been assigned this role. He has Thursdays off, but every other day I see him. We always have a good laugh about it when we see each other. Whenever I forget my card, he lets me on for free and says that the MTA owns me for my experience. Recently though, I have not been seeing him and I wonder if he left the MTA or just got reassigned. Alright guys, just giving some context about New York City, uh, everybody takes public, it's really rare for people to take anything else. It's actually really rare for people to own a car because you wouldn't be able to park anyway or if you did you would have to change the side you park your car every single day in the morning for street cleaning. But I'll tell you something, I've been in many cities and I have to say that New York City Transit works perfectly. It's probably one of the best in the world and you can get anywhere by bus or train. Entitled Mom, New York City Specialized High School discriminate against my privileged white son. Alright, this is going to be a rather mild DM post, but I still feel like posting nonetheless. English is my first language, but I am a mobile. 
This takes place last year, around the end of the school year. EC in title son, EM in title mom, mom, my mother, me, my great in Elon. Backstory. Title Kid has consistently been spoiled by his mother. They live in a nice neighborhood and he's gone to two decent schools, both of which he was with me in. His mother is the kind of person to blame the school system for EC's clear idiocy. This takes place at the very end of 8th grade, where I was at graduation party. EM was talking to my mom. I had been accepted to Bronx Science, which is a very prestigious school. I don't want to hear it, stupid kids. To be accepted, I spent my entire summer going to a very rigorous test prep program, and I had done practice tests every day before the test happened. Tests happen around October, results in March. There is one test for the specialized high schools, and if you don't prepare, you likely won't get in. For my school, only three kids got accepted into specialized high schools, partially because it was a secondary school, and also because no one honestly cared enough to prepare. EC was one of these kids, but he was also kind of a dumbass. He just wanted to pass. EM specifically said that TASS discriminates against people who speak English as a first language. Keep in mind, my parents are into immigrants, but speak better English than most Americans. And I have grown up speaking English. So EM just made a blatantly racist comment. My mom pointed this out and she shut up. Look guys, uh, while I'm American, I was born in Brazil and I made my own way. I worked in multinationals coming from starting to work in the floor up to where I was actually working for the business part. I became a sergeant in the U.S. Army, and I'll be honest with you, you make your own way. If you think something's hard, if you think you're being discriminated by any reason, you just work harder. The problem nowadays is everybody makes excuses for their failures, so don't do that. If you don't feel you're smart enough, study more. You will. Entitled mom wants me to move so her kids can sit. So I feel like a little backstory is needed to understand why this made me more upset than it normally would. I have mild cerebral palsy and I am able to walk and stand, but doing neither for a long period of time hurts me. I always have a very visible leg brace on my left leg. Also, when this took place, I was wearing a boot on my right leg because I sprained it really bad. On top of all this, I had a wheelchair because while with the boot and the brace I can walk a little bit, I cannot walk well enough to be without a wheelchair. I also have really bad social anxiety which I'm on meds for and see a therapist for. This happened only a few weeks ago when my sister and I went to New York to see Anastasia on Broadway. We had both coincidentally bought each other tickets to see a Broadway show for Christmas and tickets to Anastasia were my gift. Now we had to take an hour and a half train ride to New York City and my sister and I sat in the handicapped area trying to take up as little room as possible. The area we were sitting was quite full and my sister ended up standing so an elderly woman could sit. All was going well aside from the glares I was getting for taking up two of the possible sitting areas because of my wheelchair. That was when this entitled mom, Yam, walked with her two admittedly adorable children. They looked at me and pointed, which anyone who has any kind of disability can tell you is normal. I didn't think much of it until the EM walked right up to me and the elderly woman and demanded we move so her and her children can sit. The elderly woman simply ignored her, while I shrunk into myself on the verge of a panic attack and stuttered out an explanation that I'm sorry but I will not move because I'm in a wheelchair and have priority. She stared me down and scoffed. She went to grab my arm so she could move my wheelchair and my sister decided that enough was enough. I don't remember the exact words, but my sister pulled this lady away from me and said, Don't you dare touch my sister, you entitled woman. She's in a wheelchair and has priority. If you weren't so damn lazy, you could just have walked down the steps to the almost completely empty area and sat down with your kids, because you're able to. Don't let me see you try to touch my sister again, or I'll make sure you deal with the consequences. The lady scurried down the steps with her kids mumbling under her breath about my sister's language, and the elderly woman next to us told my sister that she was a wonderful young lady as she got off at the train at the next stop. Sometimes I wish I had my sister guts, but either way, I'm really thankful she was there to stick up for me.
TLDR. Mom with two kids wants me, a teenager in a wheelchair, and an elderly lady to move so her and her two kids can sit down, even though there's practically empty car down the stairs a few feet away. Added, I told my sister how awesome you all think she is and she gave a bow and told me to thank you all for the kindness. She also said, tell them to be like a sunrise and shine even after dark days. Interpret that as you like. Hey guys, I just have to say it, you know, it blows my mind. Every time, and I guarantee you they're in probably uh, New Jersey Transit, every time I see someone older or someone with any type of handicap, I get up. I don't care if that's a handicap spot or anything. I mean, I can stand up. I have my own issues, that's fine, but it's a lot less than a lot of people, okay? So, be kind to people. Stop being douchebags. It's not that hard, and the best thing is people are gonna thank you, and if they don't thank you, you know karma. It's gonna come back to you. Someone gonna help you when you most need, okay? So, try to be good to each other. In the most New York City, go to New York City. I really hope those entitled parents were not actually New Yorkers because that would hurt my heart a lot. But you know, I think they're everywhere. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the video. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much.